Here we go. Show from the other side so you can see it better. Yeah. Well, I just started, man. What are you doing? Uh, well, vacation time. So what do we got? We got. We have a, a, a broken stud. So this is a big bore motor. They cut it all the way. And for some reason, they, they thought they could torque that down to 18 foot-pounds and not break. What? Hang on. You're close enough. 18 foot-pounds on what? About a... It's a 516 bolt. So that means you got 18 foot-pounds, according to the book. Look how thin that, that is. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you shouldn't go by the book every time. So anyway, it's sheared all flush, so it makes it hard to get to. It appears it's got a bunch of uh, silicone sealer or something in there. I'm not sure what. Huh. And then, uh, so anyway, this is a, uh, we have a problem here. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to tack weld this up onto here. And we're going to heat this up right here and try to burn away some of that crud. So we'll try the heat method first. They are trying to heat and... and... You're going to weld or braze it on? I want to heat. First. First. I'm, I'm enjoying my heat. I, I did my upper and lower ball joints on the Jeep. And I broke out the torch, man. A little flame shell. Heating them up. Oh, they work a lot. It comes out a lot easier than this kind of. Flame on! Yeah. I'm wondering if these, uh, with all the vibration, whether these uh, fasteners will hold up and, and will bounce around inside the engine later on. You want to bet on it? Well, it'll come back for. Something's bouncing around inside the engine. Nothing we did. Yeah, when it comes through the, comes up the. I noticed that when I hit the camera. Dude, I was firing up the barbecue the other day. <laughs> I'm firing up the barbecue. I hit the clicker thing. It doesn't start. It's like, yeah, I'll go back in the house. Get a match. I had to think. I thought I turned it off. I had it set on high. Oh, whoo! <laughs> Took out a few eyebrows and my mustache looks really nicely trimmed right now. <laughs> <laughs> mustache is nicely trimmed now, you know, stuff like that. So. Just gonna try and spin it in place without too much. Oh, 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 oh. No, not yet. Appears to be hot though. It doesn't appear to want to come off, Fred. Not right now. I don't think there's enough heat. Is there enough heat? Why not? What? Mm. No. Heat it up some more. More heat. More heat. I didn't unplug your welder. Doesn't seem to be uh, moving there. Yeah. Got it cranked up enough? Enough. Not cranked up hard at all. Why don't you put it right here, with the, <clears throat> right next to it? It's on case for it. Look like it's a good ground. Something doesn't want to weld. All right. If the welder doesn't want to weld. I don't know how to weld. If it doesn't want to weld. 
Bend something? Uh, I got to lay off straight. No problem is. And it's still slow. Yes, it is slow. Gotta fix it. Okay, we're, we'll come back. After a pause for tip cleaning. Shit, I mean tip cleaning. Cleaning the shit off the tip there. See how it? Yeah, it's right there. Grinding on that, or what? Yeah, it's way too hard. Probably should, probably should flatten that out some more. That shit, man. I ain't going freaking blind from goddamn welding. Good news, there. All that damn glue's coming out now. Yep. Get it freed up. I mean, right. Lots of glue. Still a lot of torque on that. How about some W or some CPL or <coughs> some other? CRC, you mean? CRC. Yeah, probably hurt. All right. Yeah, it's falling right down. Looking 
good. Okay, now I gotta grind that turret off. Somebody put a big turret in there. <clears throat> I think we ought to put some rags over it so you're not getting shit everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, you have to clean it again, but yes. <laughs> You're supposed to clean these before you put them together? <laughs> like going to the dentist. Oh, yes, here we go. Why is that coming? There it goes. I'm not pretty hard for being just a broken off bolt. I don't think that was going to fall out of there. No. Pretty amazing. Should we replace that or just reuse it? Uh, <laughs> if we could weld straight, it would be fine. If we could reuse it. Reuse it? Mm -hmm. okay. It appears we didn't screw the case up there. That's a plus. On this slight bend in the end. That's almost straight. I mean, a little, yeah. little grinding and beating and uh, all that stuff. The is working better too. Really? You Is your PMS has subsided now or what? No. Holy shit. He threw a damn chair over there. He gave her the chair. I'm like, okay, I set it over there outside. Out of my way. Like, inside of his way. There's another one floating around somewhere on the same floor. I'm going to go move it before you freaking toss it and break something. Already tossed it. Toss it some more. Okay. So no. now we got to find one of these. You got one of these? Not that bent. Not that bent. I'm sure you can find one. Why don't you find me a bolt about that length? Goodbye. I'll try and find one that way. Talk. And we're back for more fun and excitement. Okay, we've got the case all cleaned out over here. Let's put the back up so you can see better. I'm always too close. That's right. Here we go. Unzoom the camera. Oh, un unzoom. Oh, the other way. Yep, it's unzoomed. Okay. All right, what's the bullet you came up with? Those two. Oh, you brought a couple. Why well, wouldn't I bring a couple? Yeah, that'd be too smart. Get tired of walking back and forth. Yeah. Okay, I got all the crap clean out of here on both sides. Make sure these clean. Those pads are getting in the way on the bottom. There you go. Those are baffles. Baffles. Somebody's eraser. Slip that. Okay, so now there we go. Stays down. We're over on this side now. Well, we can do it two ways. We can put a big spacer in there and put another one in there. My guess is they probably had an Allen in their factory. But Your custom. Nope, that ain't gonna fit. So we're gonna find an Allen then. So this takes an Allen bolt in here. But that's okay. We still gotta find a bolt. So this is our short bolt for right now. It appears to be maybe if they actually drilled deep enough, might be the right length. And if you put a washer on there, it'd be close to what we need. So I'm guessing this is probably the right length. Right. Uh, looks like we're going to need an Allen bolt to do this right. What about that spacer? Or you got to put the spacer on here. It's still tight. And still have an Allen bolt because you still can't put the socket in there. No. Yep. See how high it is? Yep. So Allen it is. All right, we're going to go find so one. You need a longer spacer here yet in order to make that work. My problem is I don't have a lot of Allens here. Yeah. So I'm thinking I need a little bit longer of a spacer. In which case we would we can come up a little bit more. I don't know why they uh, design these things the way they do. Too late to go to case, I guess. 
Yeah. So this is a three and three quarter length. So we could run a three and a half length if we had an Allen. Yeah, three and a half with a washer would probably work too. But. Did we want to retap that hole? But I guess uh, we will be uh, going in there looking at that. Yes. We'll All right. So yeah. over here. Oh, you're gonna find some used parts. Slightly used pile oh, no. of crap. Does anything look like the right line? Yeah, right here. No, just kidding. Yeah. Forty-nine piece of shit pan head. Oh man, look at this thing. I think it, it's it looks like a giant anchor to me. Boat anchor. A big old boat anchor. See, I bought a bunch of new islands. So you get to turn them out, any? What's this piece of crap thing going on the floor? Yeah, it's a foot stop right now. Or a toe. Toe banger. Or a toe banger. <laughs> hey, aren't you glad I bought a bunch of Allens, Fred? Oh. What length do you want it? Three and a half? That would be the opinion you have. So this must be a three and three quarter here. Look at that. Alright, we got something to work with. I hope he likes uh, this color because it's what he's going to get. Uh, oh, there's an anchor. Anchor. And we started off just taking the back fender and put a new back oh, fender. I know where that goes. You know where that goes? It goes for the motor mount. It goes up here in the front motor mount. How'd I know that? Damn, I'm good. You didn't say the front mount, though. Oh, yeah. come on. You're not even going to give me that? No. Jesus. I knew that was a motor mount. I should have said right front motor mount. Right front motor mount. Then it would be I'm correct now. Then you would know. Okay, now we can take this in here. Put a space. Oh, that's you notice know how those have a lot longer threads on the thread? Yeah, they do. That cheapo. Crapo. Not home cheapo? Not home cheapo. Okay, now we need a washer. It's a good thing we have a washer over here. Damn, I'm tired. Stainless steel washer. Not having to. What? American National? Okay. Army Navy. Army Navy? Yeah. What? AN washer. AN Army Navy washer? Mm -hmm. Official. Look at that. Perfectly. Right in that hole down there. Now we might have some thread issues, I suspect. Those threads suck, Fred. What did I just say? We might have some thread issues. Pull it back apart. Let's retap the hole. Clean it out. I'm still working on the, the length issue. Uh -huh. I'm thinking we're going to be a little That's tight. tight. They're too tight. I'm thinking that might not be that good of a motor. Why don't you put the, put the spacer on there? Put that spacer. You don't want to use the spacer, do you? I think we just use this bolt right here. Okay. It'll be a lot easier. Now, having said that, and when you're all done, like, we're probably getting ahead of ourselves. Are you going to have to still shave it down so the? Yes, we have to make it so the motor can be assembled. Good call on that, Fred. Well, I thought I'd. Some, re some reference to that, you know. Alright. How, how far down does that hole go? Well, now, you're, you're you looking on the wrong side, man. It's you notice how they drill the threads all the way down to like here? Mm. So there's no threads. There's no threads? Very few threads. Very few threads. Your light ones. Damn. It looks like you stripped them out to me. I think you just drilled too deep. <laughs> Why don't we just go straight through and freaking do? Oh crap! I'm tired. That would look like crap if you did that. The thing is, you don't go down that deep before the first thread. You, you lost all of that thread area you could have had. I think I know that. You're telling the camera that. Look at that. Or aren't you telling the guys? Look how that... deep that goes in there already. Yeah, you lost like. You could have had that much threads. I think they pulled all the threads out. Let's see how many are actually left. There's a quarter inch. About three eighths of an inch. You got about three eighths of an inch there, Fred. That's not very good. Not by Tetra standards. That means you better not torque that bolt very far. Of course, you can't torque it very far anyway because of why? Because of why the 
Here, another one up because that happens. I'm still trying to figure out how you're going to do that. Did you do a bottoming? Did you a bot do a bottoming bottoming tap? A bottoming? Bottoming? Did you do a bottoming tube? Needs a frontal and bottoming. <laughs> You can pull the trigger. That's better. And hook up. Yeah. Don't stand in front of your airline if you don't. Or when Tato lets go of the hose and sling it across the freaking thing and hit you in the... There's only 20 feet. 20 feet freaking slinging it across the dam. All right, whatever. <laughs> Does it still hurt, Fred? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of other stuff that still hurts, but yeah, it still hurts. Thinking about it. <laughs> Almost as bad as that asshole fucking rear enemy. Yeah. That's the one. Okay. Now we're gonna see if this fits in here first. An image I'd like to get out of my head. Look, it goes in there like that far, Fred. D distracted driver that the damn guy didn't write a cop for. The uh, HP yeah. didn't sign him for. We're going in that deep, Fred. Do I really care? Yes, how deep is that? Well, you turn it over and you can see. It's about one and a half. Is that three? One. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Well, you're looking what does at it, it say, camera? Is that at 1.7 inches or what? Yeah. You, turned it, it's, well, you're, you had it the wrong way. You had, had a back axis. Bass, bass axwards. Back axwards. Ass backwards. <laughs> That's what do you expect around here? Forward bass afterwards? Yeah. All right, one more time it goes again. And it's this side over here is the problem. All right, we're back together again. Did I do it right, Brad? Uh, I have no opinion one way or another. I still can't keep track of which side of the damn case we're on every time I look at it. <laughs> I'm not having a good day. I could probably go home and take a nap and I'd feel better. Okay, we got 1.750, so that's an extra 50, Fred. That we need. But you also have a wash. So I think it's going to bottom out. Mm, mm, mm. I put the washer in there. I shouldn't have put the washer in there. You forgot to put the washer in. Oh, I did put it. I shouldn't put it in there. So if you leave the washer out at the bottom, then you're, then you're not good. See the bottom, which is good. So that means it's long enough. And then we have an A and N Army Navy washer to put you in there. Which bolt there you got? You got three eighths of an inch before you put the washer in there. It's another sixteenth out. So that's how many threads you got. You got about five sixteenths of an inch of threads. That's about all you got. Plus, you're going to cut the bolt down to make the... Uh, maybe. Do you think I should cut the bolt down, Fred? Well, that or cut the... something up. You know, I've seen guys just bam, blow cylinders right over these things and... Ah. Yeah. It usually breaks parts. And he wonders why there's stuff floating around the bottom when he... Okay, it appears that that bolt is way in the way. Yeah, hence it'd be looking like this one here, as skinny as that was. Yes. I don't think there's going to be much left of the bolt there. I'm going to put that thing together. This must be a really, really big bore motor. Now, can you it looks to me like you're going shave to... a little bit off the... off the? No, probably not. No. We are going to be cutting that thing all the way over to here. I don't think there's going to be anything left of that bolt. Except the top side. Nope, that's coming off too. Mm -hmm. I'm composed. I think we're going to wind up with just a screw left. I've had bolts like that before. Now you didn't tighten this down all the way. It's tight. As tight as we're going to need it, right? I was just testing on that bottom. <laughs> I think we're going to have about an eighth of an inch of screw left. That's I'm not screw. even sure if you're going to have that much, really. 
Well, that's pretty screwy. So I'm thinking this uh, top bolt's not really a big support process for the. So now we got to lose all this. Now how are you gonna do that? First thing I do, we got to support this end. Then you cut all this metal out. There won't be much left of this bolt when we're done. There'll be like almost nothing left. And how are you gonna cut it? Very carefully. All right, are we done with the? Are we done with recording for now? I better follow him. Oh. Well, I'm having a good week. If you... Probably not. Looks pretty hot. You're gonna do. You're what gonna, am I doing? For you're going to cut all of the bolt away. Oh, you're getting smart. Man. I think I know what you're doing here. And that is stinking hot. I mean, oh, oh, that didn't hurt me. It didn't hurt you much. It hurt oh. hurting my finger, though. <laughs> and it's even better because it's an Allen bolt, so you can get a good round piece to it. Yeah, right. You're going to thin that baby down to almost nothing. There won't be anything left that I'm doing. Just enough to tighten her down. Not even that much. I like how you're doing this. I lost my scale. You got it? No. I'm not sure where that mark starts at. I'm going to guess somewhere in this area here. There's your scale. There's in my pocket. I'm thinking somewhere in this general vicinity over here. Yeah. Looks like that mark was like maybe way over here or someplace. Yeah, right there. Oh, right there, Fred? Yeah, right around there. It's getting all shiny now. Like chrome. It's pretty soft though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That fits very well with your health. And I suspect we're going to lose the whole thing. The start over? It's easy how these jobs go. Can you do a case hardened one then and make it? Can you get this thing down as skinny as we're going to be down to? Or anything else left of it?
you'll be lucky to get five foot pounds of torque on the pole. Oh, didn't like that. No. You mentioned the ball, the cutter of the ball. The ball's hard. Spindling your bolt. Spindling the bolt? I mean, you're all done on the spindle. That side of the cut is dollar on the other side. Figure that out. I'd be happy to have it this long, this size, but I know that ain't going to happen. They fixed that award that I got the other day. They did? Yeah. That was nice. It went from $100,000 to $100 million. Still acted like it was, you know, like they were doing me a favor. They like, were? Really? really? My first ever award? I'm supposed to get a a bonus of some sort. I haven't seen that come through yet. You got it already. What? Piece of toilet paper. <laughs> hey, the good news, they fired me from that other job that's been driving me crazy, so that'll help. You have a contracted one? Yeah. Fixing contracts from fire years. Fired you? Well, I requested to be removed permanently from it. Oh, I was up, I was, I was not a happy camper last week. Last two weeks. You're still in charge of cybersecurity, though. Well, that's the other point. I need to be able to do cybersecurity, and there's a bunch of stuff going on with it now. Yeah. Like security part. I mean, I should be. Whoa! Look how skinny that bad boy is. Warmed up too. Whoa! Oh, damn it! <laughs> Don't hold it still for a very long. You warm your fingers? Oh, here we go. Cheers. Fred thought it was getting hot in his finger dingers. No, I just kept it spinning. And where are we at now? Oh, it appears I'm a little off center. You're off center. Look at that. Am I spindling? Holy cow, it's still got a long way to go. I told you, there's not going to be anything left and we're done. Hmm. I don't need to use enough to anything to cut it. <clears throat> I don't think there's going to be any bolt left by the time I cut it halfway. No, because the other one... No, there won't be anything left. No, there's not going to be anything left because this other one only had... All that was left was the top of the, the piece. Mm. The bottom was already cut through. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. There won't be anything left this bolt. If you're going to spindle it, that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. The only way now is just to 
whittle down the back side. There's not enough on these sides. I mean, we got to make it look like that with the big V. Problem with that is you can't rotate it. That's why they had a nut on it. Hmm. You can't tighten it. Yeah. We got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Now, can he just can he just take a little bit of the bottom of the skirt out? No. Houston appears we have a problem here. I was afraid we weren't going to be able to do that. There's going to be nothing, there's going to be nothing left of that by the time you're done. But, uh, oh well. There's other ways of doing things. We'll make it thinner. Oh, how's our length? You need to center that. Need to cut this. more on this side. Yeah. It's gonna be so thin. It's gonna actually bow. Mmm. Mmm. I've seen them do that before. They just have a little small screw in there. They put a they put a nut insert in the case here. Yeah. And then they have a spacer on the outside edge. And you have a, just a screw that goes in between. Small screw. Yeah. And the screw flexes up out of the way. Hey, I guess we may, have, we may be doing that then. We're going to be pretty close to that point when we're done here. I told you it's going to be thin. Hmm. It's going to be even thinner than thin. So if we go back here and start further away. It makes it more frail, so more flexible. I still suspect this is going to break before I get the uh, gears. How many hours have you spent on this thing? Doesn't matter. Make a part. Down to underneath an inch of that. Being an allen bolt, it's still pretty tough material. Pencil tip, pencil tip thin. Oh yeah. Number two pencil. Okay. Alright. Now we gotta get a sharper bit in here. Because the cutting pressure is gonna become very critical. Yep. Less pressure. 
So you can't use a nice big dull bit like that. I'm going to get to step mm. up on these sharper ones I have over here. Mm. One of my new ones. I hate using new bits for these because I'll just break them. <laughs> it's going to break it. Yeah. It'll break off a $10 bit quick as a fucking $2 bit. Okay, how thin you want to go, Fred? Uh, 208 right now. I don't know if I can get to an eighth of an inch. Number six screw is, uh, I think that's about 135, 140 pounds. Yeah. And I'm going race like 156, 160 pounds. Pull my memory. Pretty thin. This is going to go out to 316s, which is another 10 screw. You want to take it out and test it first, or you just already know it's not going to be? No. Even at an eighth of an inch, I don't think it's clear. i got to get it thin enough to flex. It's going to have to flex when it's in the solar. Probably the last of the big cuts. Yeah. This is 10 pounds. It's not a very big cut. When you start getting real thin like that, it is. Once it rides up on top of the bit, it's going to break the bit off. Probably twist out of the way and break the bolt. Just getting the 316s. Hmm. Put the valve on it still. Torque this down if he tries to tighten it up again, he's just going to break it off. Dude, I have a little tag on it, so do not torque, hand tighten only. 
Not even Tatro type. Fred type. Fred type. <laughs> Fred type. Not as tight as Tatro type. Oh. Actually, my buddies think tape Fred type is pretty tight. So well, I'm not. Every time we tighten something down on that Chevy engine. By the way, we got the Jeep running the other day. What? The 74. Or, yeah, this 1974, the 305. Yours or the other guy? Look at his, the other guys. The 305 Chevy Corvette. No, Chevy Corvette engine. 305 Corvette? Yeah. Corvette. Well, we didn't say it was good. <laughs> we didn't say it was but it's a it's a V8 in a freaking in a two less than two thousand pound Jeep. I mean that damn thing's gonna yeah, fall out. <coughs> any four cylinder motor out there just these days looks good. Well, it looks good. All pretty, lots of chrome, which lots we know we don't like. Which we know you don't like. But, but, uh, it's very important. I should have heard it was like I had the. Um, Distributor set a little bit far out. It was like blah 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 blah, blah and then it cranked right up. It sent smooth as glass. You didn't do it like on TV or you blow a flame off the car right or not? No, we were too safe. My fireman friend was too safe, he wouldn't let me do any crazy shit. You mean like grabbing cutters while you work on it? Yeah. Yeah, well that's pretty smart stuff. Keep your fingers? I kept telling him I could get it, I could have it running. He goes, you ain't right, You're starting this thing up until everything's hooked up and ready to go. I said, man, that ain't no fun. You mean like me, I start the bikes up and run to Oscar? Yeah. Well, like we did the um, the El Camino back when we first got it. Yeah. We just hot wired it and nice. fired it up. Hot wired it, jumped it. No exhaust, we don't care. No exhaust. This one didn't have an exhaust. So. How thin are we getting for it? We get pretty damn thin. Thin? Okay. You want to cut for nothing? We'll be about a damn toothpick here pretty soon. That might be too thick. How far do you want to get down to? I don't know, man. How far do you think we're at right now? Yeah. Time to measure. I doubt if we have 160 yet. Oh, we just made 160. 158. Do we want to take it out and take a look? Nope. You know you got to go further? Yep. Damn it. No doubt in my mind. Damn it. Not at all. You don't stop and pick a, pick a booger or scratch your ass. It's going <laughs> to... You don't do anything. Everything's got to be... One little bit of time. I don't even want to touch the lathe, just in case. We ain't got a lot in this. The cutter's getting cold. You're protesting? Yeah. It's getting all scratchy. Itchy and scratchy. Cut more metal off. Got a four thousand pounds. How much pressure take this spin off a of inch? Not much pressure at all. Probably no more than twelve pounds. I forget what the thinnest one I have was. It was a four and a quarter bore twin tin. Wow. It was just like this motor. Nothing wrong. This is probably a 3 to 13, 16 bore it's So we're building a 90, uh, 97 inch motor. All bore. What's it? Did they stroke it to? Nope. Top down. Really? Oh, um, 
Well, I would be hot to scrub to get that. 97 would be able to go over. Uh, a sports gear or a short stroke. Probably like 86 inches or something like that. It's some exciting stuff we got going on here. It's gonna get exciting when these snaps around and breaks it down. That's why I'm still standing here watching it. You're waiting for the oxygen to come up. Well, you know. Gotta have some excitement before I fall asleep or pass out. There you go. <clears throat> well, we get to one more pass in. I think one more and I think I'll call it quits. And don't get, don't get uh, excited or do more than what do you think we're down to now? 130? Nah. Not even that far? Hell no. I'd be shocked if we're 145. 146 in there. I'll go with that. Okay. Feels pretty thick still. Oh, we're both wrong, Fred. 141. Ah, I was closer to it than you were. Does that look thin? It looks pretty damn thin. Think it'll work? Mm. I doubt it. Mm. I don't know, but I'm freaking tired of watching. Getting tired of watching 5.30. And that's all because of dummy decided he wanted to tighten it up to 18 foot pounds. Nope. Not even close. Jeez. Oh, shit, I think we're good on that cylinder though. I think the back one was trying to be good. No. No, you're right. Nope, ain't gonna happen. I think I take off at about 20, 30th out of there. Mm. As big as I get. At least 10, maybe 15. So I mean, you gotta take 30 more thou off that board. That'd be 100 pounds. I told you it's got to be a lot. Oh, that took a lot more than that. Dude, that's like. That's 30 thou. You can drive a damn truck through that gap. That's 60 pounds off. Gotta take 60 more off that. That'll only gonna leave 70. We're at one. We're at 140 now. You're gonna take 70 off and get it down to a. No, I'm gonna stop right there. I think it's, how about some some filing, up and down filing. I just torqued it. You do is you go up under there and you bend it. Mm. Yeah, if you bent it, it'd get it out of the way. Just curve on it. So you put a bolt on. Did I put the washer in there yet? No. No washer's in there, Fred. No, my mistake. I was 50% right, wrong. Okay, how much torque do you want to put on there? That's it. No more. How much? No. 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 Small as you're freaking. You're killing me, man. Is that too much torque on that thing? That was freaking too much torque, man. It's too much glue on that thing. That thing's huge. I'll hold the case while it keeps moving yeah. on me. Trying to hold it. Yeah, it's been moving it my way. All right, the mark in it now. Guess what that is? That's the that's the centering mark. That's where we want to bend it up from there on that mark. Damn, I'm good. Fred, it went to school once. I'm um, oh, <laughs> 
school. Of... Well, you know it's going to bend right back when you straighten it, when you put torque on it. Well, but... Okay, what are you going to bend it around? I'm thinking a socket. Socket? It's a big socket for... No, right here, look. Make sure you get it right. I'm thinking more about this size socket. Well, that would work. You like this size socket better? Let me get that work socket. Somebody put a weld on that. That's why I don't like welding on my stuff. Well, the only people that weld that around here are you, so. Somebody welded on that thing. You know, turd welds all over the place. Okay, that stuff won't roll. Okay, what do you want that for? Oh, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking of Harley neck cups the right size. What do you think? For what? Oh yeah. Jeez. I think if you just put a straight, what do you, I think if you just put a flat bar across it there, take care of it. Do the same damn thing. Are you just right here? No, just a small. Here, hang on. Well, yeah, probably. All that work. Slight bend. Good slight bend. Can't find the hole now. Where's the hole? Forget the washer. Don't forget the hole. Don't forget the washer. Don't forget the washer. Now let's hang on a second. Oh, don't don't put it in yet. We want to see if it flops around here. Oh yeah, look. It's not going to flop at all, Fred. Why would it flop? Well, it's going up and down. Well, that's a, just the terminology I used. There it is. It's up. Did it work? No. No. Not even close. It's right there. You're going to have to notch your cylinder a little bit. <laughs> what did I just say? Why don't we notch the cylinder a little bit? No, it's not. As expected, when you tighten it down, it just goes right back out. They can they can notch that cylinder just a hair. I'm thinking that's what you got. It ain't gonna. You're not gonna get much more. I can take some more off. No, it's... no. It's just, you just bent it. It ain't gonna be able to straighten it back out and get a thin. It straightens out when I torqued on it. Fred. How straight is it? It's pretty wobbly. Pretty wobbly. It's a wibbly wobbly. Wibbly wobbly. Yeah, it ain't gonna. You can't. You're gonna have to start all over or shave start a little bit all off. Start all over. That'd be like another hour, Fred. I don't have another hour. I don't have another hour of energy left. Okay, you think that's gonna work then? Yeah. I'm thinking it's gonna be good enough until we get the cylinders. We need the cylinders. Yep. Where are the cylinders? They work on the cylinders. Are the cylinders over there? Didn't uh, he say he brought all the pieces and ask you to assemble it? He didn't bring me anything. You got no bolts. No, look right there. What? There, those boxes there. It's in there. Oh, yeah. Suspecting these are cams. You brought a bunch of crap in those boxes. A bunch of transmission crap. Well, I guess he wants you to do the lower end. I guess I have to do all the cleaning too. You know, that's just so. That's just that's just wrong, man. That's poor etiquette. Bringing dirty parts in. At least Dirt. I could put the. At least I could put the pulley on if I had the pulley. Dirty used parts. Dirty used parts. Oh, come on, man. And he was ready to put this together? Are you serious? And another one. Here we go, get some bolts for it. I, really, we're going to put this together? There's, there's the ones over there. You think I know what this is, don't you? You know what it is. Why are you even bothering that? You don't, you don't have the transmission. I'm not working on the train. We're not working on the train. Just put the case back together with the bolts you had from over there. Where did these three come from? Up high? Yeah. And then those... Those... Four on the bottom? Oh, yep. These brake rotor bolts were on the bottom? Yep. Yeah, hey, those are brake rotor bolts. Well, you didn't think I knew that, did you? Why would he put brake rotor bolts on the bottom of this? Yeah, uh... that's probably all they could find. Okay, so what did these ones go? One of these times, somebody's going to come after me for being so mean. I'm going to accuse your wife today. No, you were white and mean to me, that's right.
Yeah, she got my. Yeah, I got my wife got my. Why are you so mean to him? I'm like, what are you talking about? That's our normal. <laughs> that's our normal, normal jovial selves. <laughs> okay, Trevor, with me. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking this is a. We need a trap door. Key. Yeah, we need a trap door. We don't have a trap door. I. Yeah, sounds like a problem to me. We don't have any bolts. Where's the rest of the crap? We have lots of crap. I, didn't, I bet they didn't think we'd even get this close. I bet this should be a course so I'm not fine. That's, ah, ah. Oh, that goes all the way through there. Ah. Nope, yep, they both go all the way through. Ah. And where are those bolts? I have no idea. I think, it was, I think we're done for the night. I think we need more hardware. We need more stuff. We need the cylinders. We need other stuff. We're, this is a... Uh, this is a long time a, project. This is a Saturday project. So we, got, we got these. Yeah, wrong bolts. No washers. No washers. We don't care about washers. Big glue. More glue? Big boogers of glue. Big boogers of glue. Not small boogers of glue. No, big boogers. Big, big boogers of glue. Yeah. And we're still missing two of these. What? Do we really care right now, Jacob? Then we don't care. Well, I have to make a mental list of what we don't care. Do. Until he brings all the rest of the crap in and they tell him to clean the crap so he brings it in and we're Oh, we just lost something, Fred. Bolts fell out. Oh, you didn't have that much in, Fred. Well, that doesn't even go through. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's crossing the You know, we got another problem. What's that? He thinks we want us to do the cams. So do you think we have any of the stuff that goes on here? Nope. I'm telling you, I I, I wouldn't even look at one minute further and tell him all the crap's been brought in. Oh, that's nice. Is that cool? Ooh, check that out. Look at that brand new that, rescue. That's not... That's toothless. That's a toothless... That's a toothless piece of... Why would he even leave this in the box? Because he might need that for something. Check out this fancy piece of crap. I bet you that this, costs... That's supposed to look bucks. like this, right? I bet you that cost a few bucks. Isn't that supposed to look like this? It's supposed to, yeah. Man, that could cut you. That's almost dangerous. This doesn't even fit on there because the crank's got a big burrs on it. Now, if I take this and beat it on with a big hammer, without the, um, do you think we'd have a problem? I think you'd have a problem. Why is it? How do you get yourself into these things, Tetra? You want me to treat a crank? How did you get yourself into you these? Now crank. you're building this POS. I know. All right, here we got to glue these back on, Fred. <laughs> he actually gave you back of the parts. Oh, this is the classic here. Hey, can you fix this? Can you rip these broken yeah, pieces? Evidently, we're going to use the same gear because he didn't get in my way. Ooh, look what I found. I'm thinking more hardware. Face bolts. All right. There we go. We got shoulders on them. Well, we can't do anything, Tate. We don't have a trap door. Transmission. Oh, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Don't need a trap door. But I got some dirty bolts. We're sitting pretty down. Look at the other crappy stuff we got. We got all kinds of good crap over here. I got one of these. That looks pretty rough. You think you left it out of the Timken barn? Ooh, that might not be good. Now, what motor did I do? We didn't have that in there. Remember that motor? Uh, was that Red's? That was the Bar Beware motor that got put together without this in there. <laughs> Everybody missed the point of what that video was about. <laughs> this is what you don't do for this reason, because it does this. There's the fancy key that look, it has almost no damage on it. Uh, should I put that in a half broken or should we replace that? I suspect you need it. I'm thinking that's like okay. And get the <laughs> nut that's half eaten off. <clears throat> there appears to be no lock. I'm thinking that might need to go back over there. Mm. <clears throat> what do you think's in here? That would be a used oil pump? That's a complete oil pump. It came mm. off a 13 mole. Now do you suppose that these match? Because I've had them where they don't match. It looks like this one might actually match that one. Okay, well, that'd be a pause. But it appears we're going to have to work on the crankshaft. So, I'm thinking there's a lot of issues here that need to be checked into. What else do you think we need? I'm thinking we need to send this back out the door. Now, I wonder how I'm going to check cams when I have no cam cover. 
I said tape it. Why are we even looking at this anymore? Let's move on to the next thing. I'm supposed to check the backlash and all this stuff. You already know what it is. It's Andrews. It's trying to loose the goose and make all kinds of noise. See, you already knew that. Yeah. Okay, what, are we, what are we missing now? So, so, so we refresh the situation here. Somebody broke in, broke the bolt off. They shouldn't have tightened down any more than hand tight. We just spent three hours un doing that How long it took? and can't fix it because the bolts it's just impossible to do that so we're gonna have to shave the cylinder down we went to in, in typical fashion here we went to see if we could do more work which we can't because they were missing or have broken way bunches of pieces it appears the oil pump has issues oh yeah look at that oh look at those pieces there it doesn't seem like it wants to rotate for some reason well could it be those parts that fell down that hole now what broke first the oil pump or the gear? Well, that, I suspect that, if we pull pieces out of there, we can glue them back onto this. That probably stopped right there. Yeah. <clears throat> so something got into this first and locked this up. Oh, and that's what broke this. And then that's what happened when you kept driving it. Mm. See, it turned a couple times, got stuck, popped off there, got over here, stopped again, and then it was just, it pretty much just done ripped, right there. And it ripped all these off. Yeah. Yeah, so it's custom. So, wh so what fell in there first, though? We don't know. Yeah, we don't care. Because I ain't working on that part. Okay, so we have no cam cover. So it's hard to check cam fit without a cam cover. But what we do have to do is we do have to take this apart. Put that... Put the crank... Uh, gears on here, then tighten it down really tight and true the crank again because the crank's going to be knock out of true so they put torque on this thing. Mm -hmm. So you're going to put it back together, torque it, take it back apart. I torqued it with the, the worn out gear in there. Yeah. And I torqued it down, trued it within a quarter of a thou, which is pretty damn good. Then I undid it and it went two thou out of whack, two lines out. Hmm. So now we're going to put the parts in that we're going to use because I guess they came in and then uh, tighten it back up and see if it's true and maybe find out if that's in there. Fred thinks I need to replace that key. All right. Can we I call it one? done now? Do you think I need a key? We're not taking it back apart. Yeah, I'm going to work on it. Okay, well. You can take a rest break. I could go get a key. Goodbye.